Is it possible that Satan, the enemy, understands the power of joy more than you do? That's a crazy thought. That's a wild question to start off a Bible study, just saying that dude's name, huh? But think about it. Does the enemy understand the power of joy more than we do? Why would he attack joy all day long? Why would he want to disrupt every believer on earth out to bring them outside of this truth, to bring them outside of this reality? Because joy is so potent to the enemy's kingdom. It is absolutely potent because it's the very fabric of what God's kingdom is made up of. Joy, peace, and righteousness in the Holy Spirit. You see, something that scares the pants off the devil is a Christian fully trusting God. A believer fully knowing who Jesus really is and where to find joy. What doesn't scare the enemy at all is us finding joy in materialism. That doesn't scare him. What doesn't scare the enemy is us finding joy in entertainment. That doesn't scare him one bit. Does he understand this truth more than we as the church do? Because David had a revelation of where to find joy. Psalm 16, 11 says, You make known to me the path of life. In your presence... There is fullness of joy. And at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Only in Jesus can we find the fulfillment of joy. Not in anything else. Not in any other person. Not in any other made up circumstance in our mind can we find joy. The enemy tries to distract us with, with this reality of false comfort and false truth because that's really what joy is, right? It's, it's, a, it's desire fulfilled. And when we put our desires on other things than Jesus, we're finding our satisfaction in other things than him. So the enemy understands if he can distract us from this very core thing, we will never have the endurance to endure suffering. We will never have the endurance to, to press through persecution, to press through hard times. Jesus personified joy better than any other person has ever personified this. He is joy foremost. But he never abided outside of the fruit of the Holy Spirit, which is joy. <laughs> Think about that. Even on the cross, Jesus filled with joy. Hebrews 12, 2, for we were the joy that was set before him as he endured the cross. The kingdom of God is what is made up of joy, peace, and righteousness in the Holy Spirit. Guys, when we begin to have a revelation of joy, we begin to have an, a revelation of trusting God, of abiding in Him. Because when we find Him, we find joy, we find fulfillment, we find perspective. Our resolve becomes just so concrete 
that no matter what could come our way, we could be in joy. We could be just like Paul in the middle of suffering, in the middle of prison, rejoicing, rejoicing because we understand where it's found and it's in his presence. The enemy wants to do everything he can to distract you from the presence of God because he knows how potent the joy that's found there really is. So I want to encourage you right now in the middle of whatever circumstance you're going through in life, find Jesus because he's joy.